Let's take a look at the boiling point for acetone. This is also known as propan to own. We have one, two, three carbons. That's the propan part. On the second carbon, we have this O-N-E. And this O-N-E, that's that double bonded oxygen. So this is a ketone. If we want to look at the boiling point, we need to understand the intermolecular forces here between acetone molecules. Acetone's a polar molecule, so it has a fairly high boiling point. If we look at the molecular model here, we see we have that carbon here bonded, double bonded to the oxygen. Then we have hydrogens on each carbon on the outside. It's a ketone because we have the double bonded oxygen on the carbon, then we have carbons on either side. Oxygen is more electronegative than carbon, so we end up having a bit of a negative side to the molecule and a positive side. Let's take a look at that in three dimensions. So here's our molecule of acetone. And the polarity, we can look at the polarity that helps us understand the boiling point for acetone. So the oxygen is more electronegative, and that's the red. So we see this red up here. That's the more negative side of the molecule. And on the bottom, the blue, where we have these hydrogens and carbons, that's more positive. So we say acetone is a polar molecule. So you can imagine if we had two molecules of acetone, how they might line up. So we'd have the negative side aligned with the positive side. That polarity, because they're attracted to each other, makes them kind of stick together. So we have to put a lot more energy in to separate them, to form a gas, to make them boil. If we look at the boiling points of acetone compared to some other compounds, we can see methane. Methane's nonpolar, so it boils at a really low temperature. Acetone's pretty polar. It's kind of here at 56 degrees Celsius, fairly warm. And then water, which is a very polar molecule, it boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And all these are at standard pressure. So the boiling point for acetone, it's 56 degrees Celsius. The reason this is so high is because we have polarity. We have these dipole-dipole interactions here. That means it takes more energy to change acetone from a liquid to a gas. We have to separate these molecules. This is Dr. B looking at the boiling point of acetone. Thanks for watching.